What's up everybody? What is going on? Today we're going to do a quick overview of Movie Live Maker 2012 of the It's a New Version. They updated, but it haven't changed dramatically. So let's talk about Once We Were in the Intro. <laughs> Hello everybody, what I saying? So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, the 2012 and compare the 2011. Um, they still look the same, the only difference is the timeline of the video. Uh, another thing too is uh, they have changed a little bit of the layout, uh, a little bit. Um, now another feature I'm very excited for is the narration where you can do a voiceover. Um, every time I had to do voiceover I had to use another program to do my voiceover. So I had to like go to to like Audacity to record my voice. Once I record a voice I had to export as MP format. Uh, to remind you, this movie live maker is a uh, MP format application. Uh, now, the audio side, it's very MP3 format. But video, um, if you have a Canon T3i, which I have, uh, does work fine with that too. So, which I'm very happy at least. Which, thank. <laughs> so... There was a narration, which they added, which it's great, so I don't have to go into another editing program, and if I need to do a voiceover, I can do it right in Movie Live Maker, which can save you time without opening another program, which, as if you ever use a audio program about Let's say about a couple months, and you come back. Of course, you have to, you have to, you have, you you end up going to spend maybe a few more minutes to get like the trimming and. Uh, uh, so you have to, you have to basically think around about a few minutes to figure out. Oh, why is it? Because the change. So it's very nice that you finally can do a audio or your narration of your voice. Uh, now they did add a, a couple of service like Vine, uh, not Vine, but they added Vine, uh, but they still have the SkyDrive. Uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and Facebook. So they have a couple of that too. So, usually I did export as 1080p and that uploaded, uploaded. Which I haven't tried to do that on it, the new version. I just, uh, last night I just updated to that. Um, which is great. Very simple process. Did go to Microsoft.com. I would recommend if you go with a custom installation uh, because if you went with the Express, it could install <laughs> cover stuff like uh, um, mail with Microsoft, uh, the other stuff. So I did recommend if you did, if you did want to add a video, that go with the custom installation. So that go with that, um, which which it's, which you're gonna do fine. Uh, almost the last one. So, um, yes, so let's get up close and let's explore what are the, the new future, the feature is. Let's get an idea what, what the look, look like. So, another thing. If you're wondering what that look, 
clicking with that line. That my passport. Just in case you're wondering, like, what the heck is that in the background? That my passport. <laughs> so, yeah. Alrighty there. So we are at the screen where we do the magic uh, bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about uh, a couple of thing, things uh, that they haven't changed, uh, but they still have the basic ribbon thing uh, going on. Uh, Another thing too is they added a, another service to it. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. So uh, the only thing they have added is the um, the voice narration or recorded narration of of it. So if we zoom in uh, on it. Uh, you can... Well, okay. If we... Pop in manual focus. So they added a uh, voice narration to it. So if we hit the little down arrow, uh, you can add sound and you can record your narration of it. Uh, so another thing too is <sighs> we zoom out even more. Back. So, they still have the ribbon uh, design, like I said before. Uh, see, see you. Animation, still the same. In fact, still the same project. Uh, still the same. Actually, I wouldn't say it's not the same. Uh, this one is the new feature they have added, so if we zoom in, uh, real quick. So, uh, as you can see, they added all this. <laughs> which, I'm gonna, uh, which I'm gonna play around with that. Uh, they got audio mixer. So that's good. In some way. Uh, I believe this is a new tab too. I haven't seen that on 2011. So if we zoom out. Uh, we still have the view. Uh, nothing is new is we have waveform. So if we zoom back in, ooh, we find a new tab, so. So we got waveform, other stuff, they look the same. Uh, let's see, I'll take a look at added. Same, same, uh, same, nothing, uh, nothing new with these tab, but some of these tab, they, they look uh, new. Now, another thing to uh, talk about is uh, the timeline story. So, if we zoom in on that. So, uh, we have. Flute point, where my finger? So, we have the text script, then. We got a little waveform too. Now another thing too is we got a little bit of waveform on the video too. So the nice thing is you can you the higher on the the wave, the louder uh, louder on the music. So that uh, so 
yeah, I'm kind of lost. So, uh, that's another thing to they, they added, uh, the movie clips, they look very different. Uh, I think would be nice is if they somehow added a little more space, give it, instead of having it crammed together, uh, I believe that the only thing, it's kind of like, eh, which they done. So, but other than that, um, they added a new feature. So, like I said before, it's not totally overhaul. The pull down menu for exporting or saving it still look the same. Importing it look the same. So, we. It's a fine. The video program, Movie Live Maker, it's fine doing the basic. I would say that the basic stuff of vlogging, if you don't do, if you don't do a ton of overlay, but if you want the overlay option, you probably want to go a little bit, um, a little bit, I would say, um, a little bit advanced. Uh, there's a little bit of technique with this. Um, you do have to impro improvise with this. Uh, Sometimes you have to window it more than one time to get to get um, to get that effect you want. So yeah. So we okay, get back to my face. All right. All right, there, everybody, so we took a look at what they added to the menu, what what kind of makeover they did. Uh, it still kind of looked the same, but they have added new, uh, new stuff to it. So that's real great, which uh, I believe the only thing I'm very excited for is uh, the the narration of it, and what I'm thinking of, do adding narration to it, like I said before. Uh, I think the other thing I want to play around with is the audio mix. I want to play with that bit, that's, play with the equalizer, that's, play around with it, see how well it's great. So, uh, see how it goes, see how see how it performs. Uh, I haven't rendered a video just yet on it too, so I, I would be exciting to see how it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say thank you for watching the video. Uh, please, please feel free to subscribe. Please feel free to Google Plus me. Whatever which way will work for you. Uh, don't forget, give me a thumbs up if you like this. Uh, give me a comment. I haven't seen no comment yet. Don't forget, I have a channel email. Look below the video. Uh, below the video, there's Amazon Project, uh, Amazon Wishlist, uh, and uh, PC Build if you want to see. Uh, and I can do... A custom build Camille too, so don't forget that. Um, now another thing too is there is many ways to support channel uh, with money donation or or um, buying my photo from Flickr, which I can do. Uh, you can do a little bit of a mail donation. That a little bit of it, not a whole lot, but if it's something interests me, I would definitely would love to have it, too, if it's something to address. So, uh, you can do that, and uh, you can 
help out with project you can help out uh, some of the project like I said before I believe if I'm not mistaken and yeah so I believe that should be it and you're welcome to support the camera gears too yeah I'm using a dumb mic I have the perfect camera camera look wonderful at 1080p but I have a horrible microphone <laughs> so yeah I will catch you next time people so catch you next time from the Mega Pain channel or the Micro Tech Room channel so see you next time I'm out!